So this car you are seeing on your screen is an electric car designed and made by 14 final year mechanical and automobile engineering students of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology KNUST here in Kumase, Ghana. The car was made as their final year project to help reduce transportation emissions in our environment. Please note, KNUST is not the only school or group in Africa that has come up with an electric vehicle. Many groups in Nigeria, South Africa and other parts of Africa have come up with their own versions of electric cars. But in this video, we would like to go deeper into this amazing project from the students of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and why I think Africa should celebrate this particular electric vehicle from the Mechanical and Automobile Engineering Department of KNUST. But before that, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for your support. Now, let's dive into it. Electric cars are becoming more and more popular these days and there are many reasons people are choosing to buy electric vehicles over fuel powered cars. Electric cars are better for the environment because they produce no tailpipe emissions, which greatly contribute to air pollution and climate change. Electric cars used to be very expensive, but according to a research by cargurus.com, prices of electric cars are now down 42% as of August 2023, meaning EVs are becoming affordable as more and more people are buying them. China is the world's largest producer of electric cars. The country accounts for over half of global production, followed by the United States and Germany. But this graph represents countries with the most EV car sales in the year 2020. And as you can see, there is no African country in this list. This graph also shows electric car sales in the year 2022 by continent, which also shows that China, Europe and North America are the top buyers of electric vehicles, whilst Africa still has lower purchasing records for EV sales. But the Vice President of Ghana, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, has also disclosed that Ghana has a policy of switching all public vehicles to electric by the year 2030. As a country, where I want to see us go in the next few years is to move public transport completely from a dependence on petrol and diesel to fully electric vehicles. That is really where Ghana ought to go. And it is doable. It's, it's very doable. It's not something that, you know, it's far-fetched. Right? Orders are already being made by other countries. Orders are being made by other countries. As a matter of policy, we ought to move away from petrol and diesel to electric vehicles. As a matter of policy, the whole issue of climate change and you know, that transition, that energy transition for Ghana and moving away from that dependence on fossil fuels to more, you know, green energy is is very very important for us, uh, and this is one of the ways in which we can achieve that transition. Because as you know, we we spend a lot on fossil fossil fuels. And that is why I said at the beginning of this video that this electric car from the Mechanical and Automobile Engineering Department of KNUST is something Africa must celebrate. Because these students are surely going to be the people behind the switching of Ghana's public vehicles to electric and manufacturing of new ones in the country for the country and the African market, which is going to help Africa reduce its dependence on European, Asian and American made vehicles. Now let's go into the story of how KNUS students came up with this amazing electric powered car. This man is called Professor Prince Yao Ando and he is an associate professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at KNUST with over 16 years of experience in teaching and research in the areas of design, manufacturing and applied mechanics. 
this man is also called Dr. Godwin Kafri Kwesi Ayeto, who is also a senior lecturer at the Mechanical Engineering Department of KNUST. And other lecturers are the people behind these 14 students who built this amazing electric vehicle. According to Mr. Godwin, the school started building electric wheelchairs and converting fluid powered vehicles into electric ones three years ago. But this time around, the students decided to build an electric car from scratch to help reduce transportation emissions in our environment. Mr. Godwin again disclosed that their next target is to build a bigger one and they are open to your support. The next target is to be able to build a bigger version of this, this time with a more structured chassis. And uh, we are open to having support from uh, donor agencies or funding agencies uh, to help us. So if you are watching us and you are interested in investing in the mass production of EVs in Africa for the African market, then the Mechanical and Automobile Engineering Department of Kenya University is welcoming you. So that is all for today's episode. Let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this inside the comment section below. My name always remains Sheriff Haruna. Have amazing life and see you in our next video. Macrao.